tank is a fast-moving, well-protected heavily armed behemoth designed to dominate the land battlefield. As the primary offensive weapon in any army, nations compete to field the best tanks in both peace and war. In the 1980s, the US Army took the drastic step of arming its tank, the M1 Abrams, with the ultimate upgrade, a tank-killing round made of uranium, the heaviest naturally occurring element on Earth. The result is an unmatched tank killer capable of destroying any fielded tank. The M1 Abrams tank was first fielded by the US Army in the 1980s. The Army had preferred the 105mm gun, the British-designed Royal Ordnance L7, also known in the United States as the M68. The M68 had armed the M60 series of tanks for decades and was considered a proven good enough gun. The M1's turret could only accommodate 55 rounds of 105mm ammunition, a reduction from the 62 rounds the older M60 tank could carry. An even larger gun would further reduce ammo capacity to a mere 40 rounds. Pentagon officials, on the other hand, wanted to equip the M1 with the larger German-designed Rheinmetall M256 120mm smoothbore gun. The civilian leadership felt obliged to use the gun in part as a way to offset German participation in the NATO AWACS program. A larger gun would also future-proof the M1, allowing it to defeat future tanks with heavier armor. A compromise resulted, in which the M1 would be initially manufactured with the M68 gun, but would be upgradable to the M256 at a later date. Moreover, a later version of the tank, later called M1A1, would come standard with the larger M256. While the tank was now future-proofed, the point about smaller ammunition capability still stood. The fire control system on the M1 was so advanced that it could hit a moving target of 2,000 meters with 90% accuracy. The problem was not going to be misses and wasted ammunition, but ensuring that hits translated into kills. At the same time, the United States was researching the use of depleted uranium as an armor penetrator. A byproduct of nuclear reactor fuel, depleted uranium was harder and denser than existing tungsten tip penetrators. Accelerated to extremely high speeds, this allowed a depleted uranium DU, round to smash through an unprecedented amount of armor. The pyrophoric nature of uranium and steel would cause the DU to catch fire upon penetration, causing catastrophic damage inside the tank. The standard tungsten anti-armor round for the M60 tank, the M735, could penetrate 350 mm, or 13.7 inches, of steel rolled homogeneous armor, RHA, the standard measurement for armored vehicle protection. The M833 DU round, however, could penetrate 420 mm of RHA position at a 60 degree angle for maximum armor thickness. By comparison, the larger Soviet 125mm gun on the T-72 tank could penetrate 450mm of armor. Most importantly, the M774 could penetrate the T-72's frontal hull and turret armor, where armor was the thickest. Meanwhile, efforts to future-proof the M1's armament were coming in handy. The Soviet Union was known to be deploying a new main battle tank, the T-80. U.S. intelligence believed that the T-80, like other modern tanks such as the M1 and Leopard 2, had shifted away from an all-steel armor to a mixed composite matrix that included ceramic armors. The result was dramatically improved composite armor protection. The T-80 had a frontal turret protection of 500 mm of RHA, and glassy plate, frontal hull, protection level of 450 mm of RHA the 105 mm gun had finally run its course as an effective armament. Improved M1A1 tanks equipped with the larger 120mm gun began rolling off assembly lines starting in 1985. The 1991 Persian Gulf War against Iraq saw the M829A1 depleted uranium round used by M1A1S against Iraqi T-70s with devastating effect. Nicknamed the Silver Bullet, the round could penetrate an estimated 570mm at 2000m, giving it good penetration against even the T-80 at typical range. Amazingly, the M829A1 has a flat, laser-like trajectory out to 3,600 meters, meaning it does not incur ballistic drop due to gravity over a distance of 2 miles. That gives one an idea of the pure power behind the 120mm gun. The latest generation of the M829 series round, M829E4, is designed to penetrate even further than previous versions, the exact extent of which is classified, 
and to defeat active protection systems such as those built on the latest Russian tanks. Whether or not the M828E4 can penetrate the armor of the new Russian T-14 Armada tank is publicly unknown. The U.S. Army has not pushed to arm the M1 with a longer gun barrel, to increase muzzle velocity, or a larger diameter gun since Armada's introduction, an interesting non-development in the face of a new threat tank. The use of depleted uranium as a penetrator has resulted in superior armament for U.S. tankers crossing the battlefield. Nobody knows how long the 1-2 combination of the M256 gun and DU ammunition will continue to overmatch enemy armor, but given DU's superior armor-piercing capability, it's a fairly sure bet DU will arm the next generation of army tanks as well.